What's up, Bible lovers? This is Jeff with Post Tenderbrust Lux Bible Rebinding. This is the new one that I just uh, shot pictures up on today. It's an ESV wide margin reference Bible. Here's the kind of cover that it comes in. And uh, here is what it would look like before a rebind. A uh, little True Tone Bible. Kind of has like the little cardboard feel to it. That's a paste down. Um, so yeah. I mean the cover on this wouldn't last long. Normally these covers would last me about two years maybe. Uh, but it is a premium text block. I mean this is a really nice text block. And I'll show a little bit of that in a minute. So here's what it looks like uh, in the rebind. Let's try to get a little side by side. So I did a buffalo. It's a bomber brown buffalo. And it has, uh, like in this light, you can see like a little bit of a light brown in the dark brown. But if you take it out in the sunlight, that light brown turns into like a almost a red and uh i thought it'd be a really cool because i like i like black and burgundy together and so i thought it'd be really cool to do a uh little burgundy on the bomber brown to see if it would highlight the red tint to it so yeah i did five hubs uh i put holy bible esv wide margin the name of my company, Post Tender Bus Lux. And uh, I gave it, I mean, I mean, this is a uh, a standard yap. Um, it's probably what you would call a wide standard. And I kind of gave it a little bend, not much, because I didn't want it to be like a trained yap where it's covering the page. I was just kind of going for a different look. Um, so I did burgundy stitching around the perimeter, and that's all done by hand. I gave it three ribbons, two burgundy, one gold. Um, I gave it the gold inside gilt, gilt line. Uh, the, the text block itself just kind of sits in, oh, sits in the... The gilt line. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Uh, Bow Tate's a pro. Um, so uh, I gave it a end sheet. Really, it, it, it's a uh, thick but very hold on. Yeah, thick but very flexible. All right. So whenever you get this Bible, it comes with a with gold gilding, and I add it a red gilt art gilt to it and so you can still see it's gold but it's got a red tint to it and the cool thing is for those of you who are not familiar with this is that once you open the bible it turns it red and you can do this with blue purple whatever you know, I ain't going to judge it. It's all good in the hood. So the text block is really good. It is a wide margin where you could take notes. It's a nine point font. Uh, as you can see, like this is like I figured I'd turn it to a psalm or a proverbs because you're, you're going to get most of your, your ghosting on this. But it's still pretty good. Probably like, I don't know, the same as my Omega. Uh, now let's get into where it's not. So, so this is kind of where it is and isn't. Let you focus on that. And let's get to the New Testament because the words of Christ are in red. And I'm usually not a big word of Christ in red guy. But as you can see, the words that are in red, that's a, that's a nice red. And there's very little ghosting. Like, it's not something that would bother me at all. 
And you have all your little references down in the corner. Uh, so. I mean, just a good looking Bible. So yeah, I figured I'd do a video just to kind of advertise because you can get this Bible right here, twenty ninety nine. Man, let me tell you something. That's unheard of. That's crazy. Like I wished I had enough money to buy a hundred of them and just sit on them and rebind and sell them. This is what I'd go for. So, and some other cool things is that it's super soft. Cover is very very flexible. You can bend it however you want. It goes right back into place. But you can also pick it up from the end. I mean, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't flop over bad. Like you can hold it, and it doesn't flop too bad. And I like that. All right, so we're going to give it the one hand test. And if you're like me, you like to hold a Bible sometimes with one hand. A lot of these premiums, because the leather is, doesn't have enough body to it, in my opinion, that when you pick it up, it, fold, it can almost fold over and touch itself. Look, look at that. It doesn't. You can actually hold with one hand and read the Bible. Like this would be a, an amazing preaching Bible. But I don't preach any longer. Uh, yeah, man, this is a great Bible. If you had twenty dollars to spare, you could get you a nice, nice Bible. And it would probably, if you read it a lot, uh, last you two years, then you'd have to get it rebound, or if you wanted to keep it, or you can spend twenty dollars and get it rebound. Uh, now, what I have here is it's like a premium package. Because it's got all the highlights, it's got the stitching, the gilt line, the uh, art gilt. I put that all in a package so it wouldn't be nickel and diamond people. But uh, but you don't have to get any of, of the, the extras. You can just get a rebind of this Bible and it will last you a very, very, very long time. And uh, if no one else in your church catches on, you'll always be the one with the nicest Bible in the room. All right, well, shout out to the trailer park. Uh, hallelujah, holla back. I love every one of y'all guys. Peace out.